Hello again there, YouTube fans. This is the real creepy doll man here. I'm back with an all new episode. It is October the 25th of 2019. Time is now 2 a uh, p.m. Okay, the real creepy doll man decided to bring this doll back for a reason. Number 350 came back for one reason, one reason only. I have saw the face of this doll before. And then I kind of realized and remember where I saw it at. I checked on eBay. I think it's about like two months or three months ago. Earlier. Back when I saw this doll. Somebody had it listed. And it, it looked exactly like this doll here. Now I don't know if this is actually a duplicate of the same doll or not. But it looked exactly like this one. Listed on eBay. And I got dumb luck, and I found it over at the thrift store here on uh, on Broadway, here in Louisville, Kentucky. Now, when I mean dumb luck, the real creepy doll man goes there every now and then. I'm their regular customer. And they know me about, you know, the way they go, because I go to this thrift store. And it's the goodwill that I go to. And off and on, I would get dumb luck. And I got her for, like, I think two ninety nine. It was a good deal. When I brought her home, I saw some signs of life. She had a strong smell, and it wasn't a bad odor. It smelled like licorice candy. And if you like licorice candy like I do, you will fall in love with the scent. Every now and then, the scent will fade away, and then it will come back stronger every time. Off and on, it will do that all day long. She has done that all day long to keep that scent going. And she likes showing off. I had played some music for her. And she, you can tell she loves music. I play different tunes from everything from rock, pop, hip hop, and in country. And I can tell you who she likes in country. She also likes Bobby Mac. And I decided to play Johanna one night. And I swear I felt movement or kicking on this bed while I was sitting here on the bed one day. Which I first got her, which was on October the uh, the twenty second that this happened, and this yesterday, or should I say, this early this morning, on October the twenty fifth, when I was so tired, I fell asleep with the light on, and I was so tired, I forgot to turn the light off. I had the doll over here, right beside me, on this side of the bed. And I can tell you, something weird happened. I had my back turned and I was laying on my left side. I felt somebody touch me. From just laying on the bed and I didn't have no cover on me. And it was nice and warm in here because I had the, had the heat on. Because it was kind of cool outside. And I can tell you, I felt somebody touch me from behind. As I felt that. You know, I also felt they were playing with me, pushing on my back, touching me, and uh, I think she she or he, um, I don't know if this is a male spirit or not, but they touched my chest, and that, that was a little bit kind of creepy in a way, in a weird way. But I can tell you, that's, that's how this ordeal has gone about, but this happened early this morning, before I awoke, and I decided to wake up. And it's a weird experience. I've been having weird rides. I had Lady Luck on my side. When you're the real creepy doll man, when you pull the slot machine, you're not going to hit all limits. You always hit the jackpot when you're the real creepy doll man. Every now and then I go to the thrift store I go to all the time. I will find something new every time. And get dumb luck, or lady luck on my side, I would call it, and find these things. Now this one I have saw, an identical doll that looked just like this on eBay. The owner, I think, had 100%. I don't know if it was a he or she. I only read the text for what it said. It didn't get very much in text, I think. It just said haunted doll, and I think I got dumb luck to find in this one. And I can tell you she's very pretty. And uh, 
she's been very I think a little playful too so a little too friendly every now and then but she will have also I've seen a little bit of a facial expression changes as well off and on I would see her smile and you know when she when she don't smile she looks like she's concerned when I'm not here other than that she looks like she's happy and she's glad to be here now I also found other dolls from the same thrift store I have found Rapunzel from the same thrift store Kawamba from the same thrift store I also found uh, Mona Lisa and Betty the Possessed doll from the same area and dumb luck that Ian the Rapunzel doll is still showing life her hair is still growing and then the rest as you know I've been finding these things off and on different places I mean you don't have to find them off eBay if you can afford them a thrift store is actually the cheapest place to go uh, I recommend if you could afford it because sometimes they can charge too much or they can charge too less for them and I can tell you this is actually looks like the same identical doll I'll say it one more time that looked like the one on eBay now I believe 90% of these dolls that are sold on eBay will end up either in a thrift store if the owner cannot sell them or worse somebody will buy them from out of town and they might I might get dumb and lucky that they might come here to Louisville and in some dumb luck that person might buy it somewhere in this area probably within the 404 area 406 area I mean 40206 area or another area and then bring it here on the one on Broadway and dump the dolls uh, now if they are truly haunted or possessed that's probably where it will end up at on all these dolls or another dumb luck they might end up in yard sales garage sales uh, antique dealers antique malls flea markets and don't forget peddler malls they will end up certain places like that in order for people to sell them now if they don't sell them people will either throw them in the trash or throw them in the dumpster I have found certain dolls I have told you before dumb luck I have found 17 dolls and saved 17 dolls from being tossed into the garbage before junk day I have found 17 dolls before this and managed to save 17 of them all in total but no luck after uh, in this area because I tried over here within my area in the 40206 area no luck in this area so that's kind of weird keep watching more to come for the real creepy doll man and will I have a new pilot episode just in time before Halloween Watch and find out. This is the real creepy doll man saying to all the fans out there, goodbye and God bless you all.